6am, the sun has just risen, we are doing the road to Hana today, it's it's very exciting, it's going to be a long day, and we'll take you along the whole journey. Driven past Paya and the first stop, Hoitla Bay Lookout. And now we're in this gorgeous kind of garden. It's raining really hard right now. We're uh, doing a little <laughs> quick pit stop, so we're gonna get back in the car, continue the rest of the way. Storm cloud. It's still lightly drizzling, but it's soft now. Um, we're at Kiane Arbor Arboratorium to see some cool trees. So we made it to the uh, Kiane Arboretum. There's a flash flooding sign. Flash flooding could occur at any time, but we take the risk so we can see trees. So this is the rainbow eucalyptus. You can tell by its strange designs and vibrant colors. It's very interesting. It's like all the bark has been stripped off and this is all that remains. Look at this one. Particularly this tree here. You see these vibrant colors and it just stretches all the way up. So I've shown you some of the other uh, rainbow eucalyptus, but this one, this one takes the cake. Let me show you this one. Ba-bam! Look at that, look at that red, orangey color. Managed to get the car all the way out. The Halamaluka Bay. And here you see Yankee taking some videos of her own. Auntie Sandy's banana bread, one of the most popular banana bread spots in all of Maui. And we still, have, we still have the it's whole warm. loaf here. The whole loaf right here. I'm so excited. Excited. Mmm. Mm. Worth waking up, waking up at 6 a.m. and driving two hours. We're going to have open at 8 30. We made it to this new lookout next to uh, Auntie Sandy's, and man, it is beautiful. Take a look at this view. Massive waves, blue seas. So we're doing a quick little pit stop at this vegan coconut ice cream spot, and it's called Coconut Glen, magic from Maui. So here's the ice cream. We got the original coconut and honey macadamia nut. Let's try this. Mmm. Mm. It's good. Too little spot. So we made it to Wainapana State Park. This is a black sand beach park and take a look at this view. See, we were at the Black Sand Beach. We just went through the lava tube, and now we're gonna go check out the blowhole, which should be just over here yonder. You see Anki already making her way there. A 
unfortunately there was no blowhole so now we're leaving <gasps> so this trail is trail is supposedly dangerous and it has landslides we're also supposedly trespassing so we're just gonna yolo and keep going We managed to get to the red sand beach and uh, needless to say it is quite a shocking view insanity the red sand finished lunch and we drove over here and now we get to look at this beautiful waterfall so we made it to the PPY trail there are two two routes you can take so PPY trail on the left or the Kuloa point trail on the right this one's only half a mile we're gonna do that one first and then we'll do the PPY later after we get back The Kuheo Trail, Black Luster. Now we're gonna start the PPY, go for a little, little water break. So we got to the first waterfall, which is the first kind of a scenic thing that you see on this trail, and it's called the Makahiku Falls. So. Let me take you over and show you what it looks like. Some crazy stuff, you won't believe it. There we go. You see it over there in the distance? It's dry. Made it quite a long distance through the trail. Still walking. Making our way. And uh, we got a long way to go. All right, we walked quite a bit and we ended up at this cool looking tree. I'm gonna touch it. It's wrinkly. After hours of grueling hiking, walking through this dense forest, we finally reach some sense of scenery. We got a waterfall here. Nice, running water all the way down to there, across to there. And we got this beautiful, beautiful bamboo, bamboo jungle. Well, we made it. We walked all the way here for this thing. This little singular stream of water. All right, we finally made it off that trail. You can see the exit right there. We just walked away, this is the sign we saw earlier. We're back at the car park. Super tired. Very tired, but we're on our way back now. Roughly two and a half hour drive to get back to uh, back to Paya for dinner. So we'll see how that goes. So we are now heading back to Paya for dinner. We just came from the Kipihalu district on Haleakala National Park. Very tired. Lucas driving, Lucas tired, driving by the waterfalls that we came to stop by earlier. And then we may have one more stop before we fully drive back. We'll see how the stop looks like. Um, yeah, it's still fried out, but we definitely want to 
want to get back before the sun sets and hopefully we'll be able to get back. Right now it's 5.12, we're two hours away. So we're doing some weird honks because it's to help alert people coming the other direction. It's been a long day. We started the trip 12 hours ago and we still got at least about an hour and 15 minutes till we get to dinner, not even home. This is like initial D Tokyo drift type mountain driving skills. So we're at Paya Fish Market. We ordered the dinner portion for the fish tacos and the mahi mahi blackened style. And then Anka got a haritos, I got a beer. And we're gonna enjoy it. Look at the fish. It's glistening. <laughs> 